It's that time of the week. How much is better than time of the month? It's blog post time. We got some stuff to start hoarding. Looks like uh, all the data mines are correct about hoarding campaign energy. Let's get into it. Big shout out to Updog and Brotherhoods of the Storm. Stormwatch. So this is on Monday. Spend, showcase energy, and campaign energy. So I've been hoarding campaign energy. I don't know if everybody should hoard campaign energy. I mean, if you need to farm things, farm things, right? Spend candy. Spend candy for the special event candy store for the Sugar Rust Web Milestone beginning on the 7th. More importantly, they strongly hint that Captain Britain is going to be updated in the candy shop. When we get into the blog post, we'll go over that. It's not even subtle. I, I believe that's, unless it's Union Jack, it's going to be somebody British, right? Earn allied supply orbs and battle in raids. Let's get into the blog. The final Ares battle pass. If you are a battle pass purchaser like myself, I've got a 6-6 six, six Ares currently. I just got the sixth red today. And earlier on this battle pass, I was able to get the awakened ability for Ares passive, which is amazing because it prevents safeguard on spawn, which is super useful against fake Superman gladiator. Red Skull Blitz, Twilight Vigil, Sugar Rust web event, Night Raid Alliance milestones. Oath will be coming to the game on Wednesday in offers. And it looks like they're going to have some sort of a pity system to go along with these garbage orbs which are just going to be Agatha orbs, right? Symbiote, Spectres, I believe that's just a Blitz event similar to that of Quick Rumble, I'm guessing. Keep an eye out for inbox messaging, alerting you to character availability. Hank Pym and Black Panther Shuri Diamonds added to the Elite Store. I've been waiting for the Black Panther Shuri ones for a minute. Oath rises soon. So that'll be coming out on the 9th, which is Wednesday. Oh, this is pretty cool. She has like that King passive where on offense, she gives 5% speed bar on spawn, like the way that King does, right? I think that's pretty important long-term. Um, but the team I think is not gonna really shine until Blades awakened on his passive and Man-Thing giving the 20% speed to the team. And we're gonna talk a lot about the awakened abilities on Blade new blood orb and we're going to make reference to this here in a minute this is the standard 675 power core orbs which i always get six but i guess you can have that one in a million chance of getting 180 i think the average on those is somewhere around eight oath night stalker orb you don't need blood to feed and power up oath battle and raids to hunt down oath night stalker orbs and then tear them open to drain the orb of character shards for orth oath no just agatha all you're gonna get is agatha it was agatha all along <laughs> with more green energy now this is interesting they have not done this before and and maybe this will be better i don't really know instead of earning progress towards a milestone every 20th oath night stalker orbs open will reward enough fragments to open a new blood orb with a guaranteed oath shards. What is that? That's how you're gonna get your, your six orbs, six shards. You gotta open 20 orbs and get Agatha and all of them. And then you get a guaranteed six. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't know. We'll have to see how that plays out. I don't know. I feel like they're trying different things. In general, this high number of orbs, low drop rate fiasco that they've been trying to implement i guess all the way back as far as illuminati i don't think it's been well received night stalker nocturne hunt down additional oath night stalker orbs from this special streak milestone that would be carrying the torch after orcus overlord will be sending on everyone a login streak token to raise any expired streak from the dead and breathe life in this milestone keep your streak alive to help unlock odin i think they need to get rid of that streak thing altogether i think if I was someone that was thinking about quitting the game and for one reason or another, you know, like I dropped my phone in the toilet and I don't play for the get day because my phone got destroyed by water or something, right? I guess phones don't get destroyed by water as much anymore now. But if that happened to me and I was already thinking about quitting the game in my streak, 
went away, I would say, fuck this game. And I would stop playing. I mean, I, I do. I think this, this login streak is a terrible idea. I wouldn't be surprised if they got rid of it. I, I don't think it's a good thing at all. Blade Awakened Abilities. We're going to talk about this. Combine Blades. I don't know how to say that. Dampier Powers with his first Awakened Ability with his two upcoming opportunities. Starting on the 7th, you'll find Blade's basic Awakened Ability on a very special web milestone. Fang for your buck. Make purchases on the web to feed this milestone, which rewards his basic Awakened Ability materials. And that's the useless one. 20% um, extra crit damage on the basic i mean that's not really that big of a deal the special is 20 percent extra well, no, no no the special is right here clear one negative effect from all allies clear all negative effects from self and quick draw sent me this the data mine is suggesting that there will be a chain offer for oath and this is where you'll be able to purchase the special blade awakened ability and then he also speculated his passive will probably be in the chain offers for man thing and the passive is the important one and right now you can get the ultimate one slowly over time inside of the candy store and we're going to talk about captain britain potentially going into the candy store too that's the one that adds blind for two turns on the ultimate but the passive is the important one and we really don't have any information on where that's going to appear or if it's going to be free. Um, the only person that I've seen speculated is Quick Draw, probably be in the chain offers for Man Thing. And when I was playing with Blade on the test server, he had this, and that made him a lot better than what I'm getting right now in real world. On self or ally crit on the following ally turn, gain assist now. Cool. Gain 20% crit chance. All allies gain 10% crit chance. That's not tied to the team, that's for everyone. I like that a lot. All right. So here is the hint that Captain Britain will be going into the candy store. It's a bit of a tall order to send a king-sized crumpet to every single commander. So in the spirit of the spooky season, be sure to keep on the eye of the candy store as we tee up some sweet additions coming to you soon. And then it says GBT. And I believe that maybe my browser doesn't work right. This is supposed to be a British flag. I don't know. Great Britain and T. Fine. Aries leaving the battle pass soon. So we're going into the sixth one. Um, and I was a battle pass purchaser. And I'm expecting that through the getting through the sixth one, I'll have a seven, seven Aries, right? Very good. Friday free claim. Now I don't have a screenshot of this, but I was told there's a pop-up offer for five orbs for five dollars and they are the 675 core orbs i don't know if that's true or not but if you haven't collected your friday free claim and you're in the market for five orbs for five dollars and they are the good the better orbs the ones that guarantee a minimum of six i don't have a screenshot of this but a lot of people several people like four or five people told me this was true all right we're gonna get into dark dimension eight dark dimension eight has been completed and this this is a normal thing when dark dimension is completed there's like a celebration they're gonna open this one up to vote 100 character shards and seven reds in the past the celebration kicked off with character shards and seven red stars with winners choosing this time we're letting you decide based on the final uh result of a community vote kicking off today in the official discord so there's the official discord make sure to check it out and cast your vote and there is gladiator penny guardian Black Panther and Gore. And I went and voted already and I voted for Gladiator and it looks like a uh, majority of the community is currently voting for Gladiator. So what that means to you is that potentially we could be getting a seven red and a hundred character shards for Gladiator. 10 for 10 is returning later in the month. So be on the lookout for that in addition I'm fully expecting there to be a undying. No official confirmation that's happening. And I've heard tons of rumors and word on the street that it's going to be what Scarlet Witch. I think that's all the videos I've seen that have speculation, like the Boylan videos and things like that are saying Scarlet Witch is going to the undying team. And I'm going to be curious to see 
if they do anything to like Hella or they're just gonna add one character. Midnight HUD events, Twilight Vi Vigil. So this is the event that's starting on Monday. Scoring strategy, use Dead of Energy Night, earn Twilight Orbs fragments. So you get the Twilight Orb fragments from campaign nodes. So I have been saving my campaign energy. Like I said, I don't know if I recommend everybody to do that, but I'm doing it and it's worked out for me so far. And use Alpha Flight, Hive Mind, Spider Society, and Extreme X-Men at gear tier 18 in raids. And then here are the rewards. We're gonna get down a little bit further. The Sugar Rust event is gonna be Spend Candy. Then we're gonna have Night Raid, which is not that big of a deal in my opinion. You're just gonna raid and raid and raid and get stuff. Then there's going to be a Blitz event tied to Symbiotes. And then we've got Wallpapers. And I love some of these wallpapers, but, not but, there's a ton of them, right? But notice the change in direction. You know, I believe this was tied to the graphics update. They wanted everything to look more cartoon and more shiny. And you can see here on the wallpaper art, you know, it's very different from the old art. Me personally, I like this. I love this, this is great. I also like this Phoenix one right above me. I think that is great. I think we're almost done with that. Anything else before we go? I got that skibbity riz. Bop, 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 dum, dum, dum. I don't know what I'm saying. Bye for now.